Welcome to the tutorial video on how to use the Amos TMS Carrier Tender Accept and Decline form. In this video, we will cover the tender email, the information within the tender, and then the process of accepting or declining the load. Let's begin. The first thing that will happen is you will receive a tender email for the load. If you open up the email, inside you will find the following information. Who you are receiving the tender from, a link to this tutorial video, a message from the broker or shipper sending you the load, load number, dispatch date and time, and the origin and destination of the load. Next, you may or may not see the bill to, ordered equipment, ordered services, and special instructions. Next, we have the rate section. You may or may not see this section, and if you do, there also may be a rate breakdown for each individual charge. Now, we have the dispatch response section. If the broker or shipper has set up a time limit on this tender, you will see by what day and time you need to respond to this tender before the load goes into dispatch expired. If the load goes into the status dispatch expired, you will no longer be able to accept or decline this tender. You will also be able to download a PDF of the broker's or shipper's terms and conditions, which will most likely be the same as the ones found at the end of the rate confirmation. Now, let's go through the accept dispatch process. First step is to click on the Accept Dispatch, which will take you to a new screen with the acceptance form. The screen is split into two sections. Left side will give you the same information about the load as seen in the tender email, and the right side will have the fields you will need to fill out to accept the load. You have nine fields where you can add information for the electronic signature, driver and truck information, and the dispatcher information. You only need to fill in the fields that are required shown with the red asterisk in the field name. Once you have filled in the required fields, below you have the Accept Load button and also the Terms and Conditions PDF download as shown in the tender email. Now, you can click on Accept Load. This will send the information in the fields to the broker or shipper's account, letting them know that you have accepted the load. At this point, you will see a button to download the rate confirmation. Click on it, and the rate confirmation will be downloaded to your computer. You will also receive a confirmation email that you have successfully accepted the booked load along with the rate confirmation attached to that email. Now, let's go through the process of declining the load. In the original tender email received, instead of clicking on Accept Dispatch, we will click Decline Dispatch, which will take you to a new screen with the decline form. The screen is also split into two sections. Left side will give you the information about the load as seen in the tender email, and the right side will have the fields you need to fill out to decline the load. First, you need to select the reason for declining the load, and then the name of the person that is approving this process. Once finished, click Decline Load, and the process is complete. We hope this video has been helpful in showing you how this Carrier Accept and Decline form works. If you have any questions, please contact the broker or shipper that has tendered you the load. If you are interested in using Amos TMS for your company, we offer solutions for carriers, brokers, and shippers to manage their entire operations in an enterprise cloud-based TMS that covers any mode and any sized company. To learn more and request a free demonstration of Amos TMS, click on the website link in the description and request a demo. Have a great day!